Welcome back to Calm Lands, everybody. My name is Blue Belly, and this is the Blue Belly Farms channel. I appreciate you clicking on the video if you're new around here. I hope you'll stick around. We are driving a very dirty <laughs> 1566 black stripe. Uh, no cab, just a just a wide front end older tractor. Probably a, I would guess mid 70s on this. We're using a New Holland square baler that is feeding. Uh, into an auto, whoop, sorry about that, into an auto loading hay wagon. And uh, if you look down in the bottom right, you can see that we're at about 121, 122 bales. Uh, once this gets full, uh, we will stop. And I have an empty up there on the 3088 tractor. I guess it's 5088, sorry. 5088 tractor up there has uh, an empty wagon. So we'll swap those out. Uh, my plan is to keep all of this hay. We're not going to sell any of it. Uh, I think we have... That was odd. I don't know why that why that bale flew like that. That's not supposed to happen. Um, but wouldn't it be nice if you could do that in real life, huh? Um, but I don't anticipate making too much more straw on this save. We have enough to help cut the... Uh, the TMR so I don't know that we're going to do those kind of grain crops anymore uh, so we want this hay for cattle feed um, and if you have been watching this save then you know that this lower field down here is actually very well taken care of and this has been you know there's no weeds we did all the all the field care on it and uh, fertilize the 200%. So this was a really good crop, which is why we're getting, you know, <laughs> we're getting like, I don't know, two bales every five seconds maybe. I don't know, it's, it's fast. I'm not really counting it, but uh, this is a good thing. When we get down here, we should be pretty close to the end when it gets to 100% full and we can swap it out. Uh, so I'll take, Actually, I'll probably just leave the full one here and get started on the next one. But we'll take these up to the barn. I'll probably park one in the cow shed across, in the storage barn across the, okay, um, across the road. All right, so we want to leave, let's go back a little bit further. Let's leave that wagon right there and then leave the baler right actually let's just let's just do this this will be faster um, I don't know how much of this second wagon oh look at that that's a cool picture huh uh, I don't know how much of this second wagon will fill but hopefully a good bit how does that tractor stay so clean? I must have washed it recently because it actually does the majority of the work on the farm, I would say. Probably the tractor I use the most. It's It's got to be close, though. When I first bought the Black Stripe, it was... Mm, there we go. I think it was the maybe the last tractor I purchased. And the well... Did I get... Maybe the M was. Okay, anyways. Uh, my point being, it has 6.2 hours. This this one has 6.2 hours on it, and I use it all the time. So I'm surprised that it is, I actually cleaned it. But since we, cl since we washed all the tractors, you know what? I think I might just go ahead and take this up there, and we'll tab over to the other one doesn't that sound so good man this thing runs gotta get a shot for the for the uh, thumbnail whether you guys like it or not you're probably here because of a thumbnail right that's how it works that's how YouTube works if you weren't interested, 
in the thumbnail and title, you wouldn't be here. Okay, so that is 150 bales, and that, who knows, a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot. I wish that I had, you know, the patience to stack all of those, but the way this game works, for those of you who are like, wow, that's so lazy, why would you be like that? Um, sorry, I should just tab down there. For those of you who think I'm being lazy, things like bales in this game will just move on their own. Like the one that we saw fly. So... I don't, you know, those things can sometimes get a little haywire. Things like that are piled in a barn like that. So the last thing I want to do is spend five hours in there individually stacking those hay bales just to have it glitch out the next time I load into the game. I bet some of you guys that play this know exactly what I'm talking about. It'll, everything will look fine and then just suddenly one bale will start to shake and you're like what is going on and that's why it's, it's about to ruin your day so what do you guys think how many bales are we going to get here and are we even going to be able to finish it in the amount of time <laughs> that's left in an episode so um i would like to be able to finish this field and then we can worry about what to do with the bales later but uh I would say this yield has been really nice and I don't know the next time it grows like it's August now so we should be able to get one more cut I think I'll probably do a silage cut with this field before this year is over and then we should be good to go on feed the thing about doing a silage cut is if I cut the whole field that's a lot of silage and it takes a long time it's just a lot of kind of the same thing, rep repetitive same thing. At least with, with baling the field, you get to mow it, and then you tet it, and then you rake it. What? See, they're, they're, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Like, what's causing these bales to do this? There's no logical explanation for that. I've, I've probably baled a thousand bales with this thing, and I've never had it fling them this far it's like a game within the game go bail hunting pew, pew, pew. all right back back in the saddle here that is strange I think it might have had to do with the elevation change there because it seemed to happen at the same spot of the field They're just not cleanly getting to the end of that rack. Alright, we're already at 35 bales. I'm going to say... I'm going to say 118. That's my guess. 118. And if I happen to get it right... I just want you guys to know that this is a live recording. I'm not, I'm not uh, doing a voiceover after the fact. So if I get it right, I'm just that good. I think this is so funny. Look at those two that hopped on the baler. Sorry, I know it's ruining immersion for people that are like, you know, like to watch this for realism's sake. And I apologize about that because I try to play the game as realistically as I can. I, I just don't know what to do to stop that the bales from acting like that. I think it's just how bumpy and, and uneven the field is. Which I didn't you know move dirt. I didn't do any like terraforming. This is just the way the, the field is.
this has been an interesting farm with a lot of uh, a lot of normal dairy farm activities I've tried to bring in you know making feed feed the cows we had some beef cows for a little bit now we've got calves and heifers across the road and the main cows in the main barn but I've tried to do things that feel authentic to what a real kind of Midwest dairy farm would have and for those of you that are that are farmers you know I've had several people say that they enjoy the series because it is it is kept to be realistic um, I know not to knock people that play like the big massive fields with the big modern equipment but I prefer this style because you know how cool is it looking at this 1566 out here all dirtied up and we, I might actually wash it at the end of this episode just because it looks so bad what the heck dude <laughs> the flying bales are that there's it's about the same spot in the field right about the same spot either way I go I hit that ridge in the field and they go flying I wouldn't say that's something that like the modder needs to fix that's just something that's busted this is a little bit messy down here which could be a result of the weird elevation it could be just that I tried to combine too fat of a windrow if you're wondering why the field is so oddly shaped that actually has to do with this cow pen uh, I put the cow pen in first and then you know with the way the house is I didn't want to curve this hay field and my original plan was to put an orchard back there and that uh, never materialized because the type of orchard that I wanted to do there's not really a mod for it there used to be a 19 there was a mod that would let you plant an individual like apple tree and then you had to give it manure and water and it would bring like a daily income so what I was gonna do was get one of those or well like 10 or 12 of those and put them back there and then use the manure from the cows to get that just regular income just for fun we don't we're not hurting for money in this in this save so it wasn't a necessity it was just something to f that I wanted to do for role play for fun and um, that mod never came to this game so we didn't get a chance to do it and that's fine I guess but all right what did I say 113 or how did I say 118 I think I said 118 now I won't totally manipulate it but if we're close <laughs> I, I might drive around a little bit to pick up some random pieces okay uh, all right 101 102 I think if we were at 110 right now I would feel very confident but being where we're at eh, not looking likely there is a little bit back at the start some bigger chunks and I will get those but I'm not gonna go around and get every little crumb because that will take forever and I don't want to do it not gonna do it not prune there's a little bit up on that top right side and here's a whole bale laying here and there's a few in the machine but we're not gonna get to 118 looking more like 105 <laughs> can I turn that tight mm, pretty good pretty good alrighty let's drive past this one so it picks him up are you serious let's drive past this one there he goes so 107 I'll tell you what, I'll take 107 bales. I will take it. And I think I'm going to go ahead and 
Well, it won't let me because there's one stinking little bale in there. Hmm. Interesting. No, that's fine. You know what? Changing my mind. Here. Talk about something that would be very, very dangerous in real life. Now, I know I don't have to do this over here, but I like to role play that the hose is at this corner of this building. You know, because the water's here, yada, yada. But here we go. Get this 1566 cleaned up because it looks awful. What do you guys think? Would this be a better screenshot? A better thumbnail? I'm starting to think maybe it will be. Let me get this cleaned off. Because we can catch the the hay, the barn, the silo, the tractor. It's gonna look it's gonna look artsy. I know that's what most farm sim viewers are looking for. Artsy. What do you think? The sunshine, the tractor. Actually, Sunshot. Honestly, the other one was probably better, but I'll take this just to have it. All right, let's get it parked up. Look how sweet that looks clean. I mean, to be fair, it looked more realistic dirty. Now it just looks like a game. <laughs> now it looks like a toy. I did see... Uh, not that long ago that doesn't look all the way clean to me not that long ago in one of the one of the modding groups that I get mods from somebody like showed a picture of a work in progress that they were doing and somebody else was like <laughs> he was like that looks like a child's toy and all, <laughs> and, all, and all I could think was like well I mean, it is a game that we're all playing, first of all. But also, like, what a savage insult. Like, this this 3D model that you've been working on, probably hours of your life, to put a piece of equipment into this game, it looks like a child has done it. Like, I, I thought of so many memes of, like, you just got owned kind of memes when that when I saw that. All right, so I have these rollers. I don't remember why I bought two. I mean, probably because the working with isn't great, but uh, we're at a point in the save that I need to uh, find parking spots for some of these things, especially things I don't really use all that often. So I'm gonna try to put, tell me it fits, tell me, ooh, okay. It fit, but barley. Okay, we need to go. I I don't I don't like when things don't turn. And now it's turning too much. Good heavens. I want to put it in that corner over there. Ready, ready, everybody, ready. Little turn. Now we're straight. Now a little turn again. No, no. See, that's close. You're just... a little turn. Yep. Now follow it. All right. This is this is driving me crazy. There it goes. There it goes. Right about like close enough. Close enough. Really? I, I was trying to steer to go in the left side, and I counter-steered and ended up smacking that pole straight on. The heck, dude? Alright. Doop. So we need to drop off the corn header and go pick up the grass header for that New Holland... Forager? Forage? S the shooter? I don't know. Well, what, what would you guys call that? Forage? Picker-upper? 
I know it's not Ford Shooter. I was just being funny. Uh, let's go a little bit. Yep. A little, little bit. Yep. All right, that was almost the first attempt. That's, I'll take it. Oh, righty. Well, we still have more equipment to deal with, but I'm gonna hide in a bush, take the afternoon off. Just kidding. I'm gonna work on getting these put away, but I'm gonna bid you all adieu at this point, and I'll see you in the next episode whereupon we will be moving to September because we have beans in the ground and we need to get them harvested in October. So, all right, guys, we'll see you in that one. Bye for now.